Hey there, it's Will Shannon here. I just want to tell you how to build a successful YouTube channel from someone who's built a small one uh, with some followers. Uh, it's really easy. Just get any cheap camera. It could be your phone. It could be one of the hundred twenty dollars if that from the store. Uh, get a light. I put a light near me. I turn it on because I tend to look dark and faded. That's the first two things. Three, do a little bit of preparation so that uh, you look good. So sometimes with me, I'll take a sauna or I'll do things. And four, just warm up your voice. Just, I don't always do that, but you should you know, breathe in and warm, honestly, just warm up your voice a, a little bit so you, you don't have this horrible sound, like I bleached my teeth, and but I didn't listen to my sound. So voice tone is really, really important. So th th that would be my first person advice. Yeah, and I remember Tony Robbins saying years ago on, um, is you interviewing someone on a, a, a set of tapes called the New Money Masters about how people make money from the internet and I was too slow to get on the bandwagon honestly but it's not just about giving free content or valuable content or even paid content but it's raw is real. Um, that say, you know, don't be afraid to be raw. Honestly, I, I had such a psychological block about getting on the internet and then I saw all these crazy, you know, people in their underwear and gluten-free recipes in their kitchen with their fridge and the magnets in the background and I thought, hey, let me just get a, a quiet part uh, in a place and, and let's do it. So that would be my encouragement to you. You just get started. And the biggest thing is consistency. They put out a video every day and they build it. And then one or two it just takes off. And people start listening because, uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, clearly people think he's a beautiful human being. He's trying to connect the, our, our whole planet Earth. He's trying to bring everybody onto the internet. And he values books so much, he just started his own, his own book club. I really respect the growth I've seen him go for through. And, Everybody thinks a billion dollars is the way to be, the way to be happy. And there's plenty of people I know that have been, you know, around billionaires, billionaire clients. And you can be miserable. So we all know money doesn't make us happy. But I think Mark Zuckerberg's also done this beautiful growth in terms of trying to integrate our planet so we can all have a better sort of, I won't say ecosystem, but a better sort of social system for everybody. And I'll tell you the other thing that I want to teach about the internet is the deepest human need is connection. Don't doubt it. If something ever happens, you want to go share it with somebody. So the greatest human pain is isolation, loneliness division and similarities unite and division, I don't want to say conquers, but it, it separates would be a better word. So don't address out how many people out there are hurting and want information that are willing to listen to what you have to say. There's something you've got to say that's good. And um, there's a beautiful guy called Brendan Bouchard, who's one of these self-help experts. He's a very nice man, but he sort of started this experts academy, how to be an expert. And the only thing I didn't like about his work, even though you know, I really like and respect what he's done, is he's saying, just go out there and be an expert. And I think it's really important that you put in the thousand hours, the ten thousand hours, the five hundred hours to get good at something. You read, you learn, you don't want to just be rehashing material. You want to learn, you want to apply it, you want to test it, and then you can say, you know what? I work in natural medicine, I'm a helping professional. I could say, well, look, I've dealt with tens of thousands of people, literally one on one, uh, offline, um, very well known people. Uh, and you know, it was class time, but this is what I found has, has worked. I've got some experience. When I talk, I'm not just someone who started a YouTube channel with their home gym. I can say, here's some wisdom. And I also honestly kind of feel like I'm whispering in the wind because the internet is just so, it's everywhere. I mean, the reach is just unbelievable. I mean, I was with my mate last night and we Googled how to have healthy, shiny hair. Five million hits. Can you imagine? This girl, she's a beautiful girl. She was a lovely person. Five million views and she had a lovely video it wasn't that great and I mean how long would it take you to reach five million people offline uh, just giving basic advice on, on hair how to have nice hair and so there's something that you're an expert in that you could develop that contributes to humanity and you you want to remember from human needs psychology always do what's good for you good for others and good for the right, greater good that's all the United Nations talk about going from egocentric to ethnocentric to basically to world centric to understanding that you know man we have a common DNA and trying to find unity between the races and the religions and the nationalities and the languages. But in our, in our nature, we've all, got, we've all got the same needs. So my encouragement would be, if you're wondering, just go get a cheap camera, get started, um, warm up your voice, really deep breaths for a few minutes, you know, get your voice. I don't always do that, but I often every day do some things when I'm not losing it. And also go, on, go for a walk, put some face cream on and always, but do something so you look better. Get some lighting and don't be afraid how you look. Raw is real. And you know, I was just in the store buying a memory card and the girl said to me, oh, she said, will I just uh, YouTube my whole uh, holiday in Greece and people have been watching it, you know. So you, you've got something to offer and I want to tell you, don't be lonely. There's a connection there. 
for people that are interested in what you have to say, no human being is more significant than somebody else. We all do more significant things, but the, end, the essence we're human, in our DNA, you know, you're worthy and you deserve it, and there's no reason why you can't share what you have inside in the best way that you can. If it really, your intention is to sincerely help another person, human beings need each other. You know, and so we tend to get down when we're not around others. It's a very, very strong person that can survive isolation and not be dragged down. Human beings, there's another world that comes together, like you go to a football game, there's 70,000 people, woo, if there's like three people, it, it's, it's not quite the same in that, that big stadium. And you know, while I posted this post, say Beyonce uh, just did the number one, po the number one uh, Instagram photo in the history of our planet, two million years or 6,000 years, whatever your belief systems are, and Beyonce with her child, and I love Beyonce, I love her music, she's a beautiful girl, but I'll tell you what, there's a, there's a lot that you could be offering uh, that could inspire, that could give expertise, but I don't want you just going out there motivating people, you want to give good quality content at something. As you get older, man, you learn, you can't put your time into everything. You know, I'm a reasonably smart guy, I've, I've read more than you'd probably believe, I've been around, I've got a fair amount of life experience for my age, but there's only so much I can do. If I'm going to see 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 clients in a day, um, there's half my day gone. I've got to sleep four or five hours, six hours usually I sleep. I work on the business, I study uh, as well formally. You normally there's some degree of social interaction if you want your sanity. And then try to learn another language. If I can fit that in, I usually can't. I want to do some movement because I, I try to look like more of an example of health these days. People that come to me, by the way, will and, you know, and, and say to me, I'm just going to turn off my phone, I'm still coming back. Um, let me just turn my phone off here. People used to come to me and say, Will, you know, you look so tired, you look so burned out, you don't look like a very good example of health. And, you know, the thing that's so ironical about that is, you know, I was reaching and helping more people than virtually any people in my, my industry in the country. I was doing so much good uh, for others, and people were quite judgmental for us. They said, Will, you're so dark and on the eyes. And, and so I've endeavoured to do things, even though my passion is really helping others, I really do love helping others and not just people knowing that you know we're here to make a difference for, for people but um, I want to look like an example as well which means now I, I make more time to do things for my own health because I used to sacrifice like a mother all the time and I, I've learned to get a little bit more balanced as I've got older. So the other thing is you want to try and walk your talk at some degree you know you really want to apply it in your own life. There's so many wealth coaches, oh how to make a million dollars online, you know what Go out there and try to make a million dollars. You know, see how hard it is. Even if it's online, it's late nights and it's early hours and it's trying, it's experiment, one thing and another thing. I think if I was like this, been a herbalist. I mean, I've been around this all my life. Both my parents did it, and some of the most famous books I love, literally, you know, from the times of the Greeks and the Romans and the 1600s and Samuel Thompson, some of these experts that I've I've, um, I've, I've learned from, really studied their work, really what I'm doing, really powerfully, and the whole. Materia Medica in China and absorbing the, the British pharmacopoeia and um, I went out there, what happens when you put phenol and fenugreek and phenol and fenugreek and licorice and then what happens if you increase it where there's 16 herbs together and actually get a formula that's one, how do you do that? I mean it, it, it really, you know it's a combination of being very professional, being very dignified, a combination of being with your friend tonight saying let's just boil a few herbs because we're tired and really building, ex building expertise and understanding that life is about growth. <coughs> you know life is really who you are and prog progress, I think it was Herbert Spencer, he was a contemporary of Darwin who talked about progress, progress, progress and it doesn't matter if it's Tony Robbins or, or another expert, everyone talks about you're here to grow. I mean if you want some belief system whether it's true or not, I believe it's true, you know you're here on earth to not just make a difference but you're here to improve and I've seen evolution the last couple of years. You know human evolution has gone up like crazy man, I mean the, the last, what I've seen in my lifetime, I mean what a unique privilege to be alive now that we both have, I can reach thousands of people which you know it might take me a year's worth of offline work to to do it with a basic in the middle of the night YouTube clip you know I think it's about 5 or 6 p.m. as I record this uh, and reach others it is the ultimate distribution channel I mean it's how you want to reach others but you do want to do good content and if you think your content's the best you can double and triple there's so many more levels you can go and you know when you get on the camera the, the videos I respect, I mean I know Raw is real, but people who dress well, they do their diaphragm, also they, they speak well, they're conscious of their face expression, there's a connection where you feel like you're t really talking and reaching others. And it's really, really quality content and it's tried, it's not just, you know, oh my god I gave up gluten, I changed my life, I gave up dairy which is a wonderful thing to do and I, I changed my life. I mean I've done this online course for 13 weeks, I mean I go through the secrets of people the last few thousand years 
and, and really, really where to begin. So look, I'd love to hear it. Reach out and comment on this video if you've got something interesting to share. I'd love to critique your channel and give you some feedback. I'm not a social media guy uh, by trade. I've learned a few tricks now having got several thousand people uh, you know, looking at some of the things I'm trying to say and some of the things I'm trying to help. And then you need to monetize that. You need to have some sort of course or you know, something somebody can really sign up to to really receive revenue. You know, everybody wants to be rich, but you, you need to be paid for something. I don't mean like selling your body. I mean, you need a product, not just your time. I mean, you need, you can sell your blood, sweat and tears to a point, but you also need to leverage that. You also need to say, I sell lawnmowers or I sell whatever, but people are doing it through the internet now. It's how people are making money. They're putting an ad on Facebook and people like Donald Trump, current president of the United States, made a billion dollars offline. And real estate's a very powerful vehicle too, but now, you know, instead of taking all these years, I remember seeing an interview with Donald when he was broke. He was walking past a homeless man saying he's more wealthy than me. Now a kid can do it in a, a year, two months, three months, six months. Society shifted. So society's not about money, but there's a freedom that has come from having our planet so connected. Bill Clinton said years ago, Africa's the next great demographic world. Even Africa's improved. You know, we're watching poverty. When I was grew up in the 90s, it was these kids starving with these big pot bellies you know, on the TV. You know, these people have really committed to make a difference. And, you know, depending on what your belief systems are, but this, you know, this planet that we've, we've got inhabited, I really admire you and applaud you if you're out there making a difference and trying to be unconventional in the system because most of us try to fit in and not stand out. And it's not good to help others. Now, you don't have to uh, stand out and be defiant. I saw Donald Trump uh, sack an attorney general recently because she refused to comply with one of his orders. Well, she might have thought it was an unjust order, but still it was her job uh, to comply. But what I'm saying is you can make a difference without being defiant. You know, you don't have to get out there and blame other people and attack them and condescend you wrong. You just get in your corner and put out useful information that really is making a difference. And everything's free now on the internet. So if you don't have something good to value, they'll watch somebody else. And also appearance doesn't matter anymore. You know, it used to be look like Brad Pitt. Uh, there's a beautiful guy called Evan Carmichael. I love his stuff. He's done all these videos, the top 10 rules of success. Oprah, Maya Angelou, um, you know, uh, Tony Robbins. Um, I saw Jay Cole, the rapper, um, you know, and it goes on and on. And you know, it goes for 10 minutes. I flicked the end. I just looked at these 10 points, watch something. And, you know, this guy's reviewed hours and hours of stuff. So you can get it for free, you know, billionaires, millionaires, uh, philanthropists, kind-hearted people, experts in their field, uh, great uh, people with artistic knowledge. And there's some consistent things, but one is you've got to do what you love. They all say it. And a lot of them said actually be busy and have a work ethic. You know, do something you enjoy and get productive. You know, get busy. You know, I live and breathe natural health, you know. And when I say I live and breathe, I didn't just do my university course. I saw 10, 20,000 clients my father. <laughs> then I got started, and then you name it. You know, I got the books from Rome, from Greece, and I'm telling you, I, word, I read them word for word. If I translate English, I read it. If it was iridology, look, you know, I read every book in history translated into English several times. I found out who the best people were in the world. I went and did their course. I learned from some of them. And colleagues, I've only got so many hours in the day. That's what I started with, and then obviously being a helping professional, I went out and I looked at people, you know, Christine uh, Podesky, who's just a beautiful human being, uh, Aaron T. Beck, um, you know, cognitive behavioral therapy, neuro-linguistic programming, uh, you know, technologies and tools that can make a difference in other people's lives, particularly yourself. But I really encourage you, try not to be a guru that's all flashy, just get out there and genuinely care about people and add value, create relationships with others. You know, try to, try to contribute and give to your community. So that would be, that would be, um, my advice to you. Love and God bless. I know I may not know you. I hope I do know you, but I, you know, I really wish you all the best. Keep your state strong. Um, if you don't know any of the posture exercises, I hope I've got some videos on posture. Go look at them um, on my channel because you know, physiology, back to the work of Charles Darwin, respiration, face expression profoundly influences how we feel. And I don't want you just sitting there passively. You want to get moving. You want to be breathing. You want to be hydrating. When somebody comes in my clinic, the first thing I'm doing on the spot is I'm hydrating them on the spot. You know, I'm getting them breathing on the spot. You know, I'm doing these things on. I don't just say here, go take this good luck. I mean, I, I, I mean, I literally, I can't tell you some of the extreme things I've done. I've got a full clinic, and I'm saying, you know, you're going to go down and say you're going to breathe a bowl of ginger because you said you can't breathe, and you call the ambulance. We're going to fix this now. So I also encourage you to have a very proactive mindset. Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective. People, the biggest business selling book in the 90s. He's actually a Mormon, um, just like I say, he's a very intelligent man, very ethical man, you know, principle centered leadership, family first. 
Rule one, um, be proactive. Then the other rules, kind of the exact order, begin with the end in mind. Um, seek to understand before you understood. And John Gottman is one of the leading experts in the world in relationship therapy. And Gottman um, basically teaches that for couples to not divorce, to at least have a decent relationship, they need to have five positive uh, experiences to one negative, but the superstar couples have 25 positive interactions for every one negative minimum. And uh, I was doing his course recently to train people how to really do intervention when couples want to love each other but on the brink of divorce, they don't know how to, how to do. And he told me about this gentleman, I think I read some of his books, I've seen some of his stuff when I was younger, but it just had been some of his, called, uh, I can't remember his first name now, which is silly, it's only a few days ago, but Rappaport. And Rappaport is his center, really study international relations. What creates war? I mean, what destroys our freaking planet? What has torn apart homes in the Middle East and all these other countries? And maybe people have to seek refuge for a better life. And the biggest thing is actually the lack of understanding. It's, it's understand the other, understand before you seek to be understood, understand the other people's viewpoint. That's what empathy is. You know, to look out of people's eyes, feel what they're feeling, and then don't make a decision like you're you, make a decision like you're them. And that's what's going to change the, the, the planet. I mean, Mother Teresa was really influential on me and I read some of her books uh, when I was younger. And I don't just say that in language or trying to, you know, big on my, so I mean, I, I really tried to apply it. And there's always people on social media, compassion and humility and empathy, but you want to live that, but you don't want to live that from a weak place. You want to keep yourself strong, then you want to go out there and you want to help others. And I've read most things from, you know, the barrage of self-help, but anyone can be an expert now. So you really do want to put out best content and better content, and you really want to learn from it from from an expert. You don't just want to learn from from theory. You really want to learn from somebody who's actually had results, and I mean massive results. I mean somebody who spent their whole generation, you know, caring for a whole country who was considered one of the biggest experts in, in Greece, who was entrusted to you know the great intellectual minds. What did he do? Oh, he started with a 40-day water fast. Well, well. <laughs> Don't know if I'll do that with my clients, but there's, there's places I can go. Tyler Tolman had a, just the most beautiful video I saw where he water fasted. Now, I don't really water fast people uh, for things like laws in the country and other things. I just, I, I think it's too extreme uh, to start. You know, there's juice fasting. There's other ways you can do that are more ethical and a bit more safe. But I'm not against water fasting. He's just got the environment, you know, uh, that we don't have. But he, I mean, this, this guy is absolutely amazing. And uh, Tyler absolutely... Uh, 30 day water fast and this lady could barely walk, I, I don't think she could walk and if you, you know, and you read this, this, this very, very touching video of the difference he made. So that, that I would encourage you just get smarter, just read, always try to be reading no matter how slow, always try to learn on YouTube, always try to, Tony calls it net time, now it's your time, try to be doing two things at once, you know, try to be driving and don't just listen to the same song for the thousandth time, let it change your state for a bit. You know, then go listen to an audiobook and try to learn from the masters. I mean, the people that aren't just talking about theory, I mean, not just the person on the corner that's good. Who's the best people on the planet? But who's done it? I mean, Mother Teresa was out there. I know um, Martin Sheen bought her an orphanage, I remember years ago, the, the famous actor. I mean, she's out there doing it, you know. And, uh, you know, so I'm not saying you have to be like Mother Teresa, but find the role model, find who you admire in your industry. But I'm here to tell you, human evolution is gonna wipe you out if you don't start giving back. Because look at the way the world's evolved. We can now see into the past, VCRs, uh, cassette tapes, DVDs, CDs, memory cards, iPhones, digital technology. And hey, people say we can't see in the future, but who knows, I'm, I'm not common. Mitchell Koku, um, M-I-C-H-I-O, K-A-K-U. I've been listening to his stuff for years. 